Thanks for checking it out. Check it out now. Listen, I ain't scared to admit when I'm wrong, but damn it, did anybody predict that Kendrick Lamar would sell over 600,000 records with damn in the first week? I guarantee not a goddamn soul predicted that, but he did. Okay, if you guys don't know, it's seeming that the final numbers for Kendrick Lamar's damn will round out at about 610,000 records moved first week. Now, of course, this includes digital purchases, uh, physical purchases. Yes, there were physical copies available at the beginning of the week. Not only that, streams, and of course, people buying Humble like a million times. Okay, supposedly Humble is going to be the number one record going into next week. So... What does this mean? Kendrick Lamar is the king of 2017 when it comes to sales, all right? He has the highest selling album, and his album has done better than every one of his counterparts, and it's the only album to have sold over 600,000 records first week this year, okay? Now, we do have to be consistent, okay? Because it's a good project. It's actually a pretty good project, okay? Great project. I believe he actually made a very digestible but still deep album. It's a fine balance. I think he actually accomplished it on this project. But for a lot of people who I see reacting to this, listen, y'all got to pick a side. Is it sales don't matter, it's all about the quality? Or does the sales only matter when you got the quality, okay? If it's there's no sales that matter, because some people will say, yo, sales don't matter, right? And then now when Kendrick sells good, yo, it matters. Listen, does it matter? Does it not? Or is the first requirement when we're talking albums quality, okay? That's actually a fair comparison. If we're talking quality first and sales second, that makes sense. But prior to this, a lot of people, and I could see our Kendrick fans on Instagram, on Twitter, sales ain't matter until this week, okay? But salute to Kendrick. I am glad he sold that amount. Some people think I'm salty that I lost or I actually, I predicted he would do under 400 and he's doing over 600. No, nigga, I ain't getting a dollar from Kendrick. Like, no, I want him to do better than what I predicted. I'm just giving a realistic predi prediction because I could predict everybody to do a million, but that's not realistic. I'm giving a realistic prediction. However, his rollout, which I thought the week or the lane of the week would have hurt him, it actually helped him. And I'm going to tell you how it helped him. The physical CDs wouldn't have made it in, in stores supposedly until week two. However, the physical CDs, because he pushed it back a week, was in stores for week one. Right. Of course, he rolled out some more videos. Right. He did an interview album signing again. It's not like he was doing the most because we do know a rollout for a project is pretty minimal these days. But he had some time to do more things. And I'm not saying those are the only reason why he went over 400, but probably the reason why he went so far over like 550 as was previously projected. And he got to 610. Salute to Kendrick. I'm very happy for him. What do you think about the album? Okay, in the comments, make sure you guys like, then subscribe to Boy Jack Academics. I'm up.